craving a sandwich? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what's in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Forgot I left this in here. It's probably still good. Wait, what's this gray, fluffy spot? Ugh, it's mold. And you were just about to eat it. Ugh. I know you guys wouldn't feed me mold, right? Couldn't you just cut it off? What would happen if you ate it? This is your body on eating mold. You can find mold in plant and animal products. It's a microscopic thread-like fungus that spreads fast. Mold creates spores that can survive in the harshest of conditions in order to reproduce. Like your fridge. <laughs> Unlike bacteria, you can see mold with the naked eye. These contaminated surfaces are often green, black, or white. So, what kind of mold is edible? Oh my gosh! Immediate symptoms. If you eat mold, you might not feel well. It's likely because of the bad taste, not because it's toxic. Don't worry, your stomach acids will try and get rid of any bacteria living in the fungi. But you might get sick from bacteria. Foods that have a higher moisture content are the perfect environment for mold. Its roots penetrate food easily, fostering bacterial growth, and that bacteria may make you sick. So I wouldn't recommend cutting off moldy parts of fruits, vegetables, and cheese. The only moldy foods that are salvageable have a low moisture content, like hard cheeses or hard vegetables. But you'd get sick from mold if you ate a bunch of it. It could cause persistent nausea and vomiting. What's even worse, you could have an allergic reaction. You might notice a stinking odor coming from moldy food. It's because mold spores travel through the air. And when was this made? Last Saturday. Oh, I need it. I smell it. I need to toss it. I know that. You might be tempted to sniff it, but don't do it. Ugh. It smells. <laughs> you can get an allergic reaction called aspergillosis when you breathe in the spores. They can be found mainly on dead leaves and stored grain. You could have a fever, difficulty breathing, and a cough. <coughs> Aspergillosis is treated with antifungal drugs. Surgery is sometimes needed if the reaction causes serious symptoms like excessive bleeding. In some cases, mold produces a poisonous toxin that can cause severe health problems and be fatal for humans. Severe cases. Beware of grain and nuts. They can contain a type of mold that has aflatoxins. These dangerous toxins can be present before and after harvest while food is in storage or once it hits the shelves. They can also be found on produce like apples, celery, and grape juice. You'd need to examine dried fruit, cereal, and spices carefully before eating them. That mold on there, you show that? According to the United States Department of Agriculture, consuming a small number of mycotoxins could cause cancer and immune deficiency in the long term. So, mold is a good indicator that our food is no longer good to eat. Eating safe mold. But some mold is completely safe. It might sound gross, but it can be delicious. Like, you can eat blue cheese without any consequences. Oh, wow. They are so different. It's crazy. It's made using penicillium, which doesn't produce toxins. It even has antibacterial properties. It adds acidity, salinity, and oxygen flow to blue cheese, 
creating an environment that doesn't support the production of toxins. So, different types of mold can affect your food. It's important to clean your refrigerator, dish cloths, and utensils to avoid any buildup. Now, if blue cheese is safe, have you ever tried to eat the most dangerous cheese? It's not mold that makes this cheese dangerous, but live maggots. Ugh, still want a bite? <coughs> well, it sounds like a challenge for another episode of Your Body On.